What is up everybody? Ganon here, back with some more content. I know it's been a while. I've taken a little break because I was a little bit too busy being an Fire! island boy! I'm, I'm an island, island boy! boy. I put my I put my my I'm actually just kidding. I've actually just been really depressed, like extremely. But you know who doesn't care about depression? Pirates of the One Piece world. That's right, baby. In the One Piece world, you don't have time to be depressed. You only have time to kick other pirates' asses and accumulate treasure. The only thing that matters when your only job is to plunder and rise through the ranks is getting stronger beefier and more dominating and as you know if you are an avid one piece reader we're currently in the wano arc right now it's climax as a matter of fact we are witnessing two of the strongest pirates we've ever seen big mom and kaido do incredible feats of strength and power that are almost unparalleled in the series so after this little week break i took i thought it would be a good idea to just ease things in a little bit and to discuss all the current One Piece characters who have the potential to defeat either of these monsters. With all that being said, here are all the One Piece characters we currently know of that are capable of defeating either Big Mom or Kaido. First off, I'm just going to start with a little two-in-one special here. Mihawk and Shanks, just you know, mentioning both of these characters at the same time, because I basically scale them as the exact same character. I believe the, these two are basically equal in strength. In my opinion, both of them are capable of 1v1ing other Yonko at their current level, and I believe both of them would probably come out on top. Shanks literally bullied Kaido from even approaching Marineford. I literally believe he and Whitebeard were the strongest of the original four Yonkos, since Mihawk is Shanks' rival and basically an equal, as well as being the strongest swordsman in the world, swordsmanship being a combat style that is seemingly especially effective against large opponents like Kaido and Big Mom. I just think that Shanks and Mihawk are both, like in my head canon, stronger than Big Mom and Kaido, and I believe that in 1v1 situations, yeah, if you're gonna have Mihawk dueling Kaido, or if you're gonna have Shanks dueling Big Mom, or vice versa, that Mihawk and Shanks are coming out on top of that in a high diff. Next up, we have Akainu. Akainu has always been the strongest admiral always but now that he's a fleet admiral i believe that he's grown considerably not only in strength but hopefully as well in just maturity in general i just think that he's grown he's become more intelligent he's probably better in a fight not only that but just him stepping up defeating aokiji and taking the spot as a fleet admiral like i've said he's always been the strongest out of all the admirals but now that he's stepped up and he's putting his big boy pants on and he's now in this position of responsibility responsibility where he's pretty much supposed to lead all the other navy forces, I really do believe that Akainu has grown and that he is in a similar tier spot to both Mihawk and Shanks, where if Akainu is 1v1ing an emperor, it's pretty much 50-50. Like, I think that Akainu low-key is equal to them. That being said, I definitely don't feel that way about the other admirals. Like, if you're not slightly over regular admiral level at this point, like, you could debate that Aokiji had that duel with Akainu and now that he's seemingly not affiliated with the Navy, that he's probably grown some way as well. But considering like Borsalino, Fujitora, Green Bull, I don't believe any of these characters are actually individually Yonko level. I believe all of them are like definitely being beaten by Yonkos in a 1v1 like every time. I'm not saying that they're not like monsters and they're not powerhouses in their own right. And they're definitely going to put on extremely good fights against Yonko. But I just do believe that Yonko are just another step up higher from regular admirals. I do believe. It may seem a little bit silly, but that fleet admiral position and Akainu just being the beast that he is kind of means a lot to me. Next up, really easy, just the old legends. Like you got Gold Roger, you got Prime Beard, Rocks especially, and Garp. These are just really obvious. These are legends that are Pirate King level and are able to compete with Roger the Pirate King in some capacity. Any of these characters are definitely not just beating Kaido and Big Mom, but they're like super definitively beating them. Garp is basically Jesus Christ of the Marines. Like he is no joke. He's got so many feats. He's got so much clout at this point if you're really dissing Garp and you don't think that even in his old age he's still able to do some crazy stuff you're just a little bit wild because imagine if Gold Roger was just around and walking still like Garp is comparable to that Garp is absolutely insane Kaido I just feel like has always been intimidated and scared of rocks because like 
he was just a subordinate on his ship, or Rox probably met his untimely demise. So I just think that Kaido has known nothing but respect and fear for Rox, and Rox is just being put up there to be a Pirate King level character along with Roger and Garp, so definitely beating Big Mom and Kaido. Whitebeard just had definitive domination over the New World, by the way. Big Mom, Kaido, and the rest of them couldn't do shit because Whitebeard was alive, had all this territory. He was the world's strongest man, the only other person who you could argue is like truly almost an equal to Gold Roger. This dude was just being an absolute menace in the New World, just had this shit on lock, and until his death, the other Yonkos couldn't really mobilize like they wanted to. So yeah, super obvious. Those are all the characters that I have listed that are like definitely beating Big Mom and Kaido, I could say confidently. Now we're going to be mentioning the candidates and runner-ups. I think the first one that is most interesting is Prime Rayleigh. I believe that Prime Rayleigh is Yonko level. I don't know if I have to do much explaining here, but Rayleigh was the first hand to the Pirate King. I still believe that Rayleigh in his old age is beating an Admiral. He's just kind of cracked, and you just take this dude in his prime. He's got to be some kind of comparable parallel to Zoro. He's a, not just a hockey master. He's like got to be one of the top three best hockey users possibly in the series from what I've taken in. So I just believe that Prime Rayleigh maybe when he was just a young blood in his youth swashbuckling with Roger, I really do believe that this dude might have been able to beat a Yonko. I know it's a bit crazy. I don't know for sure. I don't have enough evidence but I really don't want to make the mistake of downplaying a Prime Rayleigh, so I'm definitely going to be putting him as a candidate. Next up, Eam. Totally unknown character. Eam doesn't really, like, show any physical strength or anything like that that would make me think that he's going to be duking with Big Mom and Kaido, or she, I don't know which, in, like, winning, but Eam might have some super cracked devil fruit that just makes them OP. I don't know. We don't know. Eam is a totally unknown character, and with all that being said, like, One Piece is just going to continually be scared scaling above Big Mom and Kaido from this point. So it might make sense that we're going to see a character very soon that we just really don't know anything about. Maybe even be stronger than them situationally with some super cracked like legendary devil fruit. I don't know. Could be like a Hamatora thing where one of the main villains gets like the teleport fruit and just becomes OP or something. You know what I'm saying? That is why Eam is definitely like one of the really non-convincing runner-ups, but I just have to put him in there because I don't want to extinguish the possibility. Next up, future Blackbeard. Pretty much everybody's theorizing in the community that Blackbeard is going to get a third fruit or just another power-up in general. Nobody thinks that this dude is done developing. Nobody thinks that this dude is done scheming. So I just do think that there's going to be a future Blackbeard that maybe has a third fruit actually goes to his full potential and has limitless power. So yeah, right now, Blackbeard is definitely getting beat by all the other Yonkos and probably a handful of other characters just individually, but we still haven't seen like full prime, full powered up Blackbeard in my opinion. All right, so the last two are just also pretty obvious. Monkey D. Dragon. I've made a video recently talking about, you know, can he defeat an admiral? Is he Yonko level? You can go watch that video if you want. I don't really want to explain much. It's just that he's the head of an entire faction. His first in command is able to at least confidently scrap with admirals, kind of implying that he might be an admiral level character. So it would make sense for Monkey D. Dragon to be comparable to the Yonko, and maybe even if you're a super dragon fanboy in some perfect world, he might even have the power to defeat one of them. But in my opinion, if Monkey D. Dragon had the power to do that, I honestly feel like he would have used it in his whole crusade of being the head of the Revolutionary Army. I just thought he would have utilized that power better up until this point. Maybe that's just Oda choosing to omit to like show that in any way, but you get what I mean. Just not enough evidence right now to know from Dragon for sure, but a lot of the community believes this is the fact, so I'm definitely going to put him as a runner-up. Lastly, the only characters that I could really think of after discussing with Dylan after looking through the wiki, if I've missed any, that makes me a dumbass, but the only other characters that I could think of that are going to be beating Big Mom and Kaido are just the super, super, super obvious one. Prime Zoro, Prime Luffy, and Prime Kid are all going to be characters that, you know, when they're full blown pirates, when they're top dogs, when they've achieved the things that they want to achieve, they are going to be all surpassing Big Mom and Kaido. That's just it. I think nobody is really arguing with this. Hid is basically being set out to be Luffy's equal. He's the only other character in the Supernovas right now that is like contesting Zoro because I honestly believe that Zoro and Kid right now are like equals almost. I really feel like Kid is about to unlock advanced conquerors in order 
to defeat Big Mom, either that or they're going to do something to make her lose her memories. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Are there any other characters that I didn't mention that might have the potential of beating these monsters, Big Mom and Kaido? If you think so, leave it down in the comments below. If you have anything you want to talk to me about, also leave that down in the comments below. I freaking love YouTube comments. They definitely make me less depressed. If you are enjoying any of the content that you see on the channel, I am getting a neck tattoo when I get a thousand subscribers. So if you want to see me potentially embarrass myself, hit that subscribe button. With all that being said, I'm going to have to see you guys in the next one. Peace.